Liberty Atomic Gaming here. Today I am playing the casting of Frank Stone, which is a game set in the world of Dead by Daylight, expanding the all around universe around that, I guess. But before we start, I am going to talk about what this game is about and who did it. The storytelling prowess of supermassive games meets the Dead by Daylight universe in a haunting horror game that won't soon be forgotten. The shadow of Frank Stone looms over Cedar Hills, a town forever altered by his violent past. As a group of young friends are about to discover, Stone's blood-soaked legacy cuts deep, leaving scars across families, generations, and the very fabric of reality itself. A mystery of cosmic proportions, which in my case is never a good thing because it usually means I pissed off an elder god, in the depths of an organ steel mill. The gruesome crimes of a sadistic killer spawns horrors beyond comprehension. Yep. Delve into the mystery of Cedar Hills alongside an original cast of characters bound together on a twisted journey where nothing is quite as it seems. Choose your fate. Every decision you make shapes the story and impacts the fate of the characters within it. Brimming with, an, with emotional gut punches and high stakes horror, discover how a simple decision can become a truly heart wrenching dilemma, an immersive nightmare. For those who find comfort in the unknown and glee in the grotesque, supermassive games, cinema, bleh, bleh, bleh. supermassive games, cinematic storytelling brings new levels of emotion, immersion, and intensity to this dark, darkly rich universe. World beyond the fog, experience a never-before-seen look at the wider world of Dead by Daylight. Behavior Interactive's acclaimed multiplayer horror game. Filled with spine-chilling twist, this dark, original tale is certain to haunt you long after it's over so uh, anyway like I just read uh, this game is developed by supermassive games and published by behavior interactive and if you don't remember I've uh, I, I'm pretty sure I played some supermassive games on the channel before they did uh, until dawn all that they did um, the quarry they did all the dark pictures analogy uh, Gavin and I did man of Medan. I know I played the quarry on my own I didn't get to the other ones yet I eventually will, but we are here to do the casting of Frank Stone today, so we're going to get into that. And hopefully you guys enjoy the ride. Uh, a lot of the Dead by Daylight references will probably go over my head, because I've only played it for like five hours when it came out way, way back in the day of like 2016, 2017. So, I might be able to like talk about a few things I know. I don't know a lot, but hopefully y'all won't judge me for it. And, uh, let's get into it. Okay, it is making me do the settings now. Okay. Cutting room floor unlocked. To your current path to the story, you can jump. Previously played points in the story to change outcomes. I think I'm okay. This is kind of a blind run. A plunderer's instinct unlock. You'll be able to... Okay. When you range to find a trinket. Okay. I don't know what either of these modes mean, but I think I can figure it out. Okay, play the single player story, die alone. Yeah, nobody's with me right now, so die alone. Die alone, die alone, die alone, die alone. We're going to do that. New save. Leave behind all hope for survival. Yep, that's my game mode to play. Every choice made, every action taken has consequences. Some will save lives. Some will result in death. Yep. I've sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger. Yep, that sounds like a pissed off Everybody. elder god to me. Yep, there it is. A realm. So Everything is always about pissed off Lovecraftian elder gods these days. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key. My key. 
killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. dog creature thing what am I what am I is it an actual dog or is it some murderous hound Is that an old cop car? I think it is, yeah, it is. It's an old police cruiser. Cedar Steel Corps, okay. The Burning Maw! Cedar Steel Mill, 1963! My name is Sam. Hello. I think. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Mother Manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fella could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Got a few questions. Maybe. I need yes. to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose of. Can I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about... I know it about. That missing boy, right? That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest in all Cedar Hills. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. Shit. Skeptical, a lot of ground to cover. Can I check your records? You sound confident. And rightly so. Can I check your records? No records. The logbook, visitors to the mill, out of our shifts, that sort of thing. All right, right. Uh, well, gotta be here someplace. Is that it? Uh, it's okay. Allow me. I see. Let's 
one's been faking entries. Okay, then if I know, I know, I guess. Someone's been faking the entries. No. Who? I'm guessing you, Tom. Me? Well, maybe your partner Merlin helps you. Sounds like he's expected to pick up all your slack. It ain't like that. I don't do it for me. I just got to cover for some of the mother fellas now and then. The ones who won't sign in or out. Got any names for me? Uh, what is it now? Hank, maybe? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Fred something. Yeah, that's it. Fred's, Fred some. Come on, Tom. I'm sorry, Sam. I don't remember. Alcohol does tend to impair the memory. And what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. I'm here because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Boy, you ain't gonna find him here. I'd know it in my bones if that boy were within a mile of this mill. I'd like to take a look around. All the same, I'd like to take a look around. You wanna do my job for me? Be my guest. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. Come on in, dog. Not a dog. Hello. I don't want to shoot nobody, but I will if I have to. Anything around here? Hello, hello. I mean, I'm looking. It's telling me to do it, so there's got to be something here, you know? Whether or not something really is here isn't up to me. An open window. I can get in through there. Something is here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it, but I'm going to try. Quite possibly I can. He's, he's really calling for that dog, you know. Okay, so this is, she promised, I was reading that, God damn it! bring it back. Where was that, collection? Hey, I was trying to find that, man, like, what the hell?
Was that the only collectible around? It said something about you promised to, like, get rid of my nightmares or something. Oh. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, if that dog's hurt, I'm gonna feel really bad about that, man. I'm gonna feel really fucking bad. Just the lights. I don't know where this dog is, but we are looking, man. Gotta find this kid. This is a very open room, goddammit, and I don't like it. I mean, this part of the room. There's a lot of places to hide behind me, but not... Not really in front of me. Yep, Friday the 13th, ha ha ha, fun. Uh, Harold Norris, Dennis McCann, Bobby Rivers, Frank Stone, hey, look, a reference into itself. Lou Osterman, Graveyard NA, okay. Yep. Move to Dawkins and Stone off Graveyard to pick up slack. No use running three crews with half the manpower. Some fellas are going to have to double up shifts. Told the Lumpkin out front. No one's working nights for a while. Hux. That is burned. Employee's personnel record. Date employed, February 4th. So, what? Preferred name? Teffa. Mechanist. Singer. How? Cedar Hills. Criminal record. Okay, okay. All right. Anything else? I don't know. Fucking great, man. Okay, anything else? I can move that, I guess. That feels like a reference. Doing so now, I guess. But of course it is, because it wouldn't be fair if it wasn't Hello? locked, right? Anyone here? It's police! Was 
that somebody trying to stop me or was that the light just breaking on itself? That is the question that remains. Hello, hello. I still ain't seen no dog. We're gonna figure this out. Who's there? Dude, that's probably gas. Or oil or something, man. Whatever it is, we gotta get out of here. Or that dog is some kind of fucked up demon. I was calling it earlier, but you know, like... Maybe I'm correct. Who the fuck knows? Wouldn't be the first time. This is basically a blind run for me, only because I know nothing about this. <laughs> Here we go! Hey, mister. That's Officer Green. Sure. You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You alright there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <laughs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Ah, <laughs> uh, it can be a blessing in disguise. Uh, gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. It was probably coming from where it was earlier, but he's with me, so... Maybe that means bad things can't happen, but you know, that would be a lie. Oh, please cue the cannibalistic ungodly hound, yep. Merlin! There you are, boy. We wondered where Hang you on. got to. He's literally eating a corpse, man. if you two made proper acquaintance. Ugh. God damn it. <clears throat> Ugh. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? That is a human ear, dude! That is not hot dog meat! And there are bones in it! Will you look at that? That damn dog? Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Jesus, married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well, somebody does. 
That is not a good thing, man. We need to get the fuck out of here. Okay, so that's where my piece went. Figured that out. Cool, cool. What does that mean, though? What was that sound? Stay behind me. Why do I have the worst feeling that dog's gonna rat me out? So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Find something to pry open the gate. You probably call it a hatch. Ha ha ha, making jokes. About things I do know from Dead by Daylight. Ha ha ha. That's what I need. I am hilarious. <gasps> yeah, it's all fun and games, so that plan doesn't work, huh, bud? Gotcha. Let's keep it going. Let's see what we can do, you know? Fun times. Pry open the gate. Or don't, because I don't know what the fuck you're doing, man, but... I've got the crowbar. There we go. Okay, I figured it out. There we go. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. But I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this, too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. You're just trusting this guy? <laughs> Boy, I don't know. Come on, I need your help here, man. You gotta help me out. We're in this together. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. can do this. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. <sighs> yeah, I put my faith in him. Hopefully he doesn't fuck me in the ass. Now, I have no idea if y'all could see this, but uh, in my OBS, there's a black bar at the bottom of the screen like it's supposed to be cinematic, but it fucked up. I can't tell if that's the game or that's just me.
But I'll figure that out later, I guess. Damn it! I saw it. Something's there. Not that I know how to get to it, but I'll try my best. God damn it. There it is. Okay, hi. Is a piece? It is. Okay, let me read this one. Wooden horse, I know what it is to believe through the forest path. The path is clear. God damn it, I was reading that. Can you not go super quick? Son of a bitch, man. I swear to God, why do you hate me, game? I'm trying to read. And you're like, nope. Fuck you. Damn. It's a maze down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow the yellow signs, I guess. Anyway. You know what? Since I'm currently safe in this room, I guess... I am going to end this one here as usual. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I catch you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody. See you later.